The U.S. has slammed North Korea's latest ballistic missile launch, calling it destabilizing but not an immediate threat to the region. Pyongyang fired a submarine-launched ballistic missile into the sea as top officials from the U.S., Japan and South Korea held talks on the nuclear standoff. It also prompted South Korea to convene an emergency meeting, as Lim Young suk reports. Following that meeting, South Korea expressed regret, saying that it occurred while active consultations were underway with the United States, China, Japan, Russia and other major countries to advance the Korean Peninsula peace process. Now, the launch came as U.S. Special Representative for North Korea, Song Kim, and his South Korean counterpart, Nogi Dok, held talks in Washington, urging Pyongyang to engage in dialogue. The U.S. continues to reach out to Pyongyang to restart dialogue. Our intent remains the same. We harbor no hostile intent towards the DPRK, and we are open to meeting with them without preconditions. Even as we remain, we remain open to dialogue, we also have a responsibility to implement the UN Security Council resolutions addressing the DPRK. Meanwhile, the intelligence chiefs of South Korea, the United States and Japan are also in Seoul to discuss the standoff with North Korea and other regional issues. In recent weeks, North Korea has tested a long-range cruise missile and a train-launched weapon, what it calls a hypersonic warhead, and opened a weapons exhibition, where leader Kim Jong-un blamed the United States for detention on the Korean Peninsula. Some analysts have voiced concerns that North Korea was continuing to upgrade its weapons program amid a breakdown of dialogue. And South Korea, too, is holding its largest defense exhibition ever this week, showcasing the next-generation fighter aircraft, attack helicopters, drones and other advanced weapons amid concerns of a spiraling arms race in this region. Lim Yang-suk, CNA, Seoul. For more, Kate Fisher joins us live in Washington, D.C. Uh, Kate, what's being made of the timing, the launch coinciding uh, with a visit to Seoul by the U.S. Director of National Intelligence? Yeah, it does seem um, very much uh, more than a coincidence, doesn't it? Uh, this is a real diplomatic message, as well as a military message, I think, that North Korea is trying to show the United States and her allies. You're right, Avril Haines, the Director of National Intelligence from the US, is in Seoul meeting her uh, Japanese and South Korean counterparts. This is their first face-to-face -face meeting since May, and they will have been discussing, it's a closed-door meeting, Meeting, but they will have been discussing the threat assessment, uh, assessing the threat from North Korea, uh, sharing information and intelligence. And I think it shows a real push from the United States to uh, make these alliances in this part of the world much stronger. They want to have a very strong trilateral information sharing relationship. They can see that they need it. And I think North Korea has sent a very strong message about the leverage it believes that it has uh, in any further negotiations. And yet at the same time, the Biden administration is continuing to renew an appeal for talks. Yeah, absolutely. You heard Sung Kim just then uh, in Washington saying that the U.S. has no um, desire to be aggressive towards North Korea and it wants to resume uh, talking without preconditions. That's the thing, of course, North Korea wants to see a, a, um, some easing in sanctions. Uh, the U.S. willing to offer humanitarian aid, but they say the North Koreans need to come to the table without preconditions, but say they are open to that at any point. And clearly, uh, we've seen the Biden administration uh, ever since Joe Biden came to power, his uh, desire to make his foreign policy much more centered towards Asia and the Indo-Pacific. Uh, China, of course, is the place he talks about the most, but clearly North Korea is also a major issue. And this, uh, these um, frequent tests now of these different um, weapons are clearly a message from the North Koreans to Joe Biden to say, hey, look, we're still here and we are working very hard on our, on our military and you need to take some notice of us. Kate Fisher is in Washington, D.C. Thank you.